Good morning, fam. Welcome back to Meech and Monica. Hey, and today is our grocery day. And Monica grocery is day. <laughs> the video that y'all love to see. Monica don't uh you don't seem too excited about grocery day. I just don't feel like going to the grocery store today, but <laughs> it has to be done. It has to be done. So Monica has to the uh cool bags because we always forget these yeah like sometimes we rem remember but we always forget these so. we might need to get another one so we, when I we go to costco and sam's we have to have those yeah i wish if, if i ever see this one at costco again i'm gonna pick it up because it was only ten dollars and it's a lot bigger than this one. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna look when we are because we y'all know we're going to costco so <laughs> Anytime we go grocery shopping, we go to Costco. Listen, y'all, I think Demetrius, let me tell you, y'all, Demetrius went to Costco to pick up something he went to pick up the other day. And so guess who was looking around in Costco and came out with shirts and all of that when he got home. So I think Demetrius is a little bit addicted to Costco, too. Well, you know, Costco is like Sam. They had a little Adidas and Nike shirts up mm. in there in the, in the middle of the aisle. Look at why hooking me up. What wrong with my ears? I don't know, you got something. You gotta make sure I get all your, get y'all cleaned up. You gotta make sure you rub them ways up there. You got that old your chapstick. Do you see it? No, I don't. I put a lot of chapstick you on. Ain't Look. Uh-uh. I, I don't see it. Mom, y'all. I don't see your lips glistening. I'm it's not, glistening. nah, we're not finna glisten. We're not finna glisten. I put on chapstick, we're not finna glisten. Men don't gliss. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna look today again when I go. I think they had like some little Adidas shirts or something for like nine bucks. So uh, you need to get those in every color. Yeah, it's yeah, summertime you know, you t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, I like wearing t-shirts in the summertime. It's hot, mm -hmm. hot down here in the south in the spring, and especially when they get summer. But so. we had a little bit of cool air like this last what two or three days. Yeah, it's been a little chilly. Yeah. So uh, that's why we got jackets on, but uh. We about to head out. I got the truck running. It's ought to be warmed up and ready to go. We need to go through the car wash because this truck all looking hot. Yeah, it's all this pollen down it's here. Look at hot mess. All right, well, you want to shoot through the car wash? Yeah. All right, we'll be back, fam. And we are on our shopping trip. Y'all already know our first visit. Where we at? Costco. <laughs> so we supposed to be shopping, but you know if you go to Costco, you gonna look up everything else before you start getting your food. For some reason, we ain't made it back to the groceries yet. We just walked in the door. Oh, okay. Hey, you can't come to Costco and just go straight to the groceries. You gotta look around. Oh. Well, I'm gonna show you the little uh, Bluetooth radio back there, too. Uh, they got a little JBL and a Bose radio. Y'all let me know what one y'all think, but I'm gonna I'm probably get the little JBL radio. So me and Mark just sit out on the back porch when we on the back porch, chilling. Mm -hmm. She got me under this, uh, what you call this thing? Um, like a, um. Gazebo? No, it ain't a gazebo, is it? It's something like a gazebo, but not really. What's the right name? She want this for the backyard, for the, for the. Hey, give me a pool. Yeah, it's a gazebo, it's a gazebo with a pool. Oh, okay, gazebo, how much is it? What did? Sixteen hundred. Huh? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Fifteen ninety nine ninety nine. But y'all know how much it is with the ninety nine. With the one penny. So. <laughs> Sixteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, what they made out of it? Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, you joke gonna hit? You joke gonna hit my Jane? You joke gonna run over to me? <laughs> What? <laughs> she done run over my Jay with the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the base of the thing down there. I'm finna run it over here. Yeah, stuck on my Jay. Y'all people in y'all feet. Look at all those lines. Mitchell, you will be outside, not that. Hold on, let me let me show you all this. Oh, it's too long. 
Yeah, it rec I think it go back further than that. Hold on, let me so y'all can see it. Wouldn't it? Y'all, we two will be knocked out. That's nice. It's seven uh seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Mm-hmm. Look at me to shout. I might let you slide with this. <laughs> yeah. It is nice. It's too. Is it? Yeah. I told you it was nice. No shopping, right? Nah, I gotta go down here. I see some more stuff on this other end. Look at that. I want that, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, I want that five feet. I know. I gotta give me a pool, though. I gotta get a pool. Cause you got five pit, you need a pool. Look at that. You see that? That's a pool. <laughs> we can't have no five pit without no pool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. That's how it look. Look at that. That baby big, too. Yeah. Look at that. Now, he said we supposed to be grocery shopping. Yeah, let's go. Come on, man. You supposed to be looking at the little thing. Come on. Yeah, I got to show you the little radio thing. It sounds really like a regular radio to me. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. Look how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just sounds like a regular. Uh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. All right, this is Okay. Look at all that coming out of that little bitty thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it's a men's thing, you know. Yeah. So the meat is talking about me. We still haven't made it to the food section because he's looking at everything. But look at him talking about me. Yeah, that is a big tent. It is. We going camping? I'm telling you, um, Costco, they just have it going on when it comes to all of these outdoor stuff, don't they? And look, we hadn't even made it to the food. He picked up this, um, what you call these things? Um, filters. We picked up these filters. They had three in a pack for $30. Um, now we're going to... That's why I need a food. What? Uh, uh, so I can shoot you behind with the water gun. Yeah, what do you mean, not pool? No. Come on, get in there. <laughs> I light you up when we get home. <laughs> we come to look and see what type of exercise. I don't think I see any. They don't have any ellipticals. I, me I remember they had some, I thought. But that's a bike. Let's see. So they have the treadmill, and it's seven ninety nine. Now they buy cheaper than the one that I was looking at. Yeah, but it's not the same brand. Uh, no, that was a twin they had. Okay. So these are the bikes. They have one for five twenty, and then the other one for nine ninety nine.
are done at Costco. We was just trying to get out of there, so we stopped recording, but I'm gonna show y'all really quick what we picked up because we still need to take this stuff home and then go to Publix. So I picked up a pineapple. It smells so good, y'all. I can't wait to cut that open. Some bread. Can y'all see that? <laughs> y'all like, we know what bread look like. And then we picked up these, um, we picked up these scoops. This five cheese tortellini. I'm going to have Jamon make some Alfredo sauce. So I think that'll be a really quick meal. I think I showed you how Demetrius picked up these, um, why well, I keep forgetting what these things are called? Air filters. Air filters. Hold on, OCD Joe is getting ready to load up. OCD Joe, can you wait until I show the family what we got? Shrimp. We got some flounder. I picked up some milk. Um, we have this, um, these beef patties. What else? Um, the kids wanted some frozen pizza, so we have those little individual pizzas. Uh, pretzel crisp. The kids love these little um, chicken breast chunks. These chicken chunks. Honey, don't they kind of remind you of Chick-fil-A? chicken yeah those kind of remind you of cheek filet chicken they kind of have like that sweet taste to them so those are really good picked up some eggs um y'all know we had to pick up that nan bread the kids love making pizzas with those this is something that i told me that i wanted to try it's um pull apart cheese bread look at that y'all so we'll definitely um try this and we'll show you guys and let you guys know how we like this. Y'all know Jaden. <laughs> Jaden became a chef with these chicken breasts. She even has Dylan in the kitchen making, what they be making, orange chicken oh, okay. with these chicken breasts. So we picked up some more of those. Um, we picked up these croissants. The kids love to make these. It's like a dessert. It's like a dessert um, croissant and you basically just put unroll them put some chocolate chips in them roll them up bake them and then you sprinkle powdered sugar over them so when the kids get ready to make those i'll show you all that quick um dessert and then i picked up some pulled pork we can just put some barbecue sauce with that and y'all see ocd joe so with the pulled pork i'm just gonna put like some barbecue sauce with that we can make a quick you know, meal like barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, or we can put that on a pizza. We also have these um, organic drumsticks. I think we're gonna grill for Easter, so we have those for that. We have chicken breasts, Kanekas, and then we have this grass-fed beef sirloin. Everybody in the house loves this sirloin. So I'm gonna go ahead. So look, look at OCD Joe hitting on the basket. I need your love 
baby. I have stuff. Y'all know I'm organized at home. But when it comes to talking about putting groceries in the car and all of that stuff, man, that stuff is just in there piled on top of each other. And it's just, it's trying to make it, y'all. It's trying to survive the trip home. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, my goodness. That's all I can say. But this trip... This Sam's trip, y'all, my, my, my car is smoking. And I still have not made it to Publix and Walmart. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Do y'all feel my pain of when I have to go home and subtract this grocery shopping haul? But you know what? I thank God. I thank God. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I thank the Lord that I was able to to go to the grocery store because it's somebody out there that cannot go to the grocery store like this. It's somebody out there that, you know what I'm saying, is limited in what they can do. And I mean, I'm limited, but I can do a little bit. You know, y'all you, know what I'm saying. So I just want to pause right there and just say thank you, Lord, for allowing me to come out to go to the grocery store because... With everything that's going on, there's so many people that have lost jobs, lost businesses. I was just talking to the Meachers about that the other day. Like, I thank God I didn't miss a beat. I did not miss a beat in my business. My husband did not miss a beat at work. So we are forever grateful to God, you know, for continuing to provide for us and to make a way for us. I know I went to church real quick on y'all but let me tell you y'all already know when it comes to me and my husband we are not ashamed to tell god thank you we are not ashamed to praise the lord because without him we would not have things that we have we would not be breathing i can tell y'all a lot but without him we could do none of the things that we do none of us None of us would be here without him. None of us could do the things that we do. So I, first of all, <laughs> say that without God, we wouldn't have a job. But those of us that have businesses wouldn't have that. Those of us that have, you know, house car, whatever. It's because of him. Yeah, we work, but, but it's because of him providing and opening up doors and opening up opportunities for us to have a job, to have a business, whatever, you know, whatever way you make your income, it's him that opens all of those doors for us. So, y'all know I got to give it up for Jesus. I have to give it up for Jesus. All right, y'all, I made it back home. This is a massive, massive haul. So, I'm going to show you what I picked up from... Sounds because I still have to go to Publix, but I had to bring these items home and then I'll go to Publix and I'll show you everything that I purchased from Publix. Um, so from Sam's, I purchased some bananas, um, these chocolate muffins for the kids. As you can see, somebody has already been in those. I purchased um, some spoons. This is actually my first time purchasing like plastic utensils. But as I said, I think earlier in the video, I was trying not to make like all of these trips throughout the week and month back and forth to the store. So I picked up some clear spoons and forks. And I also picked up um, this roll of plastic wrap, some dish detergent, and I think I showed you all in the video, they actually had these on sale. You all know my kids love the cheddar broccoli rice. I also picked up these containers that I needed. I also picked up this maple and brown sugar oatmeal, some classical um, pasta sauce, jasmine rice. I usually get a bigger bag of the jasmine rice but i really don't have space for it um hopefully we will be done with the pantry soon and then i'll have you know extra space for like the big bag of rice and other items 
Dylan wanted some chocolate syrup. So like I said, y'all, I was not trying to go back and forth to the store. Um, <laughs> so I picked up um, him some of that from Sam's. I also picked up some um, the Lipton tea mix for my husband and the kids. Well, basically the kids. Um, cause Demetrius is really just drinking water. He will have like tea every now and then. Um, some grits and it came, they came three in a pack, some Parmesan cheese. Jaden likes these, um, teriyaki beef noodles. As you can see, she's already <laughs> dug into those, but she likes those. So we have those. I decided to go ahead and stock up on tissue and paper towels. I already had some, but I just wanted to go ahead and get extra. I also decided to get some cleaning supplies. So I picked up this Mr. Clean. It's like a deep cleaning mist. I also picked up this toilet bowl cleaner. Um, I also saw some more, like a toilet one, and it come with the 36 of the refills. I picked up this Swiffer duster, and it does come with the um, handle and also 28 refills and I picked up um, just some some more cleaner the scrubbing bubbles cleaner I picked that up and let me get everything together to show you all all of the um, cold food and the frozen items that I purchased okay y'all so I also picked up these chicken breast tenders um, the kids like to make sandwiches with the, with those. I'll show you like the rolls that they make those with. Jamon, these mozzarella sticks, waffle fries. We also have the crinkle fries, turkey sausage patties. The rolls that the kids like to um, eat with their chicken tenders. They kind of just, you know, cut them in half and then put the chicken tenders on them. And I also picked up a bag of the Colossal Shrimp. I purchased some shrimp from Costco, but I wanted to pick another bag of shrimp up as well. And then I have um, just these Southern Buttermilk Biscuits. And I also picked up another bag of these vegetables. I love these vegetables. And the thing I like about it is it come in like five individual bags. I didn't have to pick, we actually have maybe like two other, two to three other big bags of vegetables. So I only needed one, um, you know, just to pick up another bag of vegetables because it has a different blend than the other vegetables that we have. And I already had like corn and um, all of that. I think it's something I'm missing. Okay, this is what I was missing. This salad mix. I tried this i want to say maybe like two months ago or something like that and i absolutely love this chopped salad kit um i usually don't buy like a lot of salad all at one time because it will basically just go to waste so i will buy a bag and when we finish that one you know buy another bag i do that with all of my fresh vegetables that i like to use so you a lot of times you are not gonna see a lot of those vegetables because I basically get those right when I need them that way. You know they won't go bad. I also went to, I stopped by Walmart. I didn't get a lot from Walmart, um, but I picked up this yogurt for Jaden. She likes this yogurt. So I picked up um, two packs of that, some shredded cheese, I also, um, I also picked up this turkey bacon and you all know my baby. She wants to have, <laughs> she wants to have her a, um, Easter egg hunt. So of course, you know, mama had have to, you know, get all her stuff together <laughs> so she can have her Easter egg hunt. And she didn't ask to do cookies, but I picked those up. I saw those at Walmart while I was there. So I picked up some cookies as well as um, just these cute little sprinkles and some extra icing. And so me and her are gonna get in here and we're gonna make some cookies for Easter. And then for her Easter egg hunt, 
I picked up these. Um, she likes the Hershey's cookies and cream. So they had these eggs. And I also picked up these Starburst jelly beans. Of course, I had to get her this golden egg. Okay. <laughs> and then um, I have her these little plastic eggs just to put everything in. And then I also purchased just this little bucket. Um, so when she's going and getting, you know, finding all of her eggs and stuff, she'll have something to put her eggs in. I wanted to show you all really quick what the mozzarella sticks look like, just in case you've never gotten these, but they are really thick. Can y'all see like the thickness of those? And you get two bags. And Jaden is gonna open up the chicken tender so you all can see those. And you get a bag. Okay, you got So that's how the chicken tenders look. And the kids basically just, you know, put them into the air fryer and they're done. So those are the chicken tenders. All right, y'all. So I wanted to come back on and finish this haul. This is, I went to Publix and picked up a few things. It's actually the next day, well, the next morning. Um, so I had to go back to Costco and pick up some of these um, Gatorades for Dylan. I forgot to pick that up from Costco. So while I was there, I picked up some of these turkey bacon because I forgot that in my last haul. Um, everybody will, you know, with the exception of Demetrius. <laughs> like this turkey bacon. So I picked up this from Costco and it's actually one, two, three, four packs. And we love this turkey bacon. And then I picked up, y'all look at these. Let me open these up, hold on a minute. All right, I wanted to show y'all, look at all of these hamburger buns. I picked those up from Costco. Um, the kids text me saying that they needed more hamburger buns. And I'm going to have to show y'all the hamburger patties again that I purchased. I showed them earlier in the video, but I'll show them again that I purchased from Costco. But the kids have been getting that George Foreman grill, putting those hamburgers on the grill, and they have been loving them. Okay, so y'all see these grass-fed beef patties? I picked those up from Costco. And those are the ones that, um, like I said, they've been putting on the George Foreman grill and they've been having them a good time with those burgers. But the reason I wanted to show you all these hamburger buns was because for these two large packs, it was $4.59. And I was like, when you go to the store, you spend almost $4 on a pack of, you know, hamburger buns. So I'm just gonna leave one out for them and then I'm gonna put the other one in the freezer. And then that way, when they get ready to eat hamburgers, I don't have to go, you know, go out and buy more hamburger buns. And the last item that I picked up was this Lysol. That was a really good deal. I want to say it was like $7, but I picked that up from Costco. All right, so I didn't pick up a lot of items from Publix. The items that I picked up was this macaroni salad to go in my salad. I also picked up some pineapple chunks. Y'all know I like that in my salad. And um, just some ham. And then I picked up these um, sliced cantaloupe. Some Publix lemonade. Anytime you all see me drinking lemonade, that's what I'm drinking, the Publix lemonade. And then I picked up this five grain bread. Jamon actually, um, made a video showing you all how he make the roast beef sandwiches. So this is the bread that we use for that. I picked up just some provolone cheese. And then I don't know if I've ever like taken this meat out of the pack to show you what we use for our roast beef, but we use this London broil um, by Boar's Head. And I picked it up from Publix, but I wanted to show you all how the meat actually looks. It's really good, y'all. So can y'all see? Can y'all see that? So that's how that meat look, and we just basically, um, you know, put it in the pan, put the provolone cheese on it, and melt it. 
melted cheese and then toast the bread. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this massive grocery haul. And I think I may do like an organization video with me putting everything up. If you wanna see that video, just let me know. And it will go on the other channel, which I changed that channel back to Jamonica K. Um, so yeah, in everything that you do, remember to do it big. And I will see you guys in the next video. How to keep the